Hey everyone, today what we're going to do is use the router to make dowel. So what the heck do you need to do that for? Well, the most useful place to use it is if you're making dowel for uh, uh, shelving, which is what this project is. It's uh, episode 304, uh, produced in 1997, I think is when we produced this particular show. And uh, we're using a three-quarter inch uh, bullnose bit and we're making dowel for the project. And uh, we're actually making the dowel out of uh, pine because that's the project wood. But you could make it out of zebra wood even and have the project piece out of zebra wood and make the dowel with it. Uh, again, it's pretty tough getting zebra wood dowels. So... Anyways, we're using the router to make dowel today, so let's watch the show. Now what we're going to do on the CD storage system here needs to have dowel. This piece here is a, a piece of dowel that we had purchased, and it's not really sanded right, and it's a little rough. And uh, so I'm going to show you how we can make some dowel today. So we're going to sit down. The first thing we need to look at is the router bit we're using, which is going to be a bullnose bit. This is a three-quarter inch bullnose bit. And that means that that's the diameter of the dowel we're, we're going to work with. So, okay, I've got the dowel, uh, the bit already tied up in place. I've got the height set so that it's flush with the piece. So we'll drop that back down in here. There's only two things when you're setting up your rudder, folks. Remember that it's the distance away from the cutter with the fence and the height that the bit is at. So we're going to go ahead and, here and get a shop-made jig here with a little bit more height to it screwed on the side. We'll slide this in place here now. And I'm going to slip one clamp on the back side before you do any kind of setups you should always put one clamp on the side first to tighten it down and that'll give you a chance now to use it as a as a side piece we're going to go ahead now and get it so that it's right flush with the the diameter of the piece in the middle of the cutter and that's the most inner side of the piece you're going to see that on your cut when you're doing it a good trick let's use a piece of of uh, plastic laminate here and just to check to see how close we are you can always measure better by feel than you are than you can by sight and that's right on the numbers so we'll tighten that one back down and we're just about ready to go the only other thing I want to check before we go anywhere is that you've got this material plane properly it has to be exactly three quarter inch the easiest way to check that out is to go ahead and set it up so that it just fits inside of that edge because if you don't have that right, what you're going to do is get yourself set up and you're going to have oval, oval dowel. Okay, similar to the stuff that I purchased at the store. So we'll set it aside here. We're going to make one cut first. And again, all setups are done while the machine is unplugged. Okay. we got a nice round on this. All we need to go ahead and do now is go ahead and cut them. So I'm going to cut down one side. Flip it around. And I went ahead and stopped before I finished because if you get on the end, you're going to roll away on it and you're going to have trouble with it. So now what we want to do is go ahead and finish cutting the rest of the dowel. Dad's all set up for drilling the holes, and we'll go ahead and cut the rest of this dowel. All right, that's a quick way to make some dowels. So that's it for the show today, and uh, we're out of here. So we'll see you next time on the Router Workshop.